G'day folks, Dale here from Gotta Be Trippin'. Uh, now I'm in sunny uh, Duras in uh, Albania and this video I'm going to outline my three weeks that I stayed here. Um, much, much nicer city, so stick around, I'll show you some of the places to go, some of the things to do, what it cost me for three weeks. Um, and again, like Tirana, it's definitely a place to put on your uh, travel list. Stick around and I'll show you all about it. By the way, if anyone uh, is recognising the environment I'm in, yes, I did record the intro for Tirana from this position as well. I forgot to do it when I was in Tirana. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a run through of the Airbnb I stayed at. This place is worlds apart from the one I stayed at in Tirana. And uh, as much as it didn't have a nice view or anything, because it was on the back of a, an apartment building, it was a lovely apartment and what a great host. This host, uh, I arrived and got cheese. Um, a week in, uh, they've dropped off stuffed paprikas for me. They've uh, helped me. Was, I got mail sent here from Australia and they were so, so helpful. Um, I'm going to link this place in the description. If you're looking for somewhere in Duras to stay, I highly recommend this place. The, uh, the host, Luli, what a great guy. Uh, definitely uh, look at staying in, uh, in this place if it's available. Okay, here we are in Duras. So this is the apartment I'm staying in, in Duras. I'll turn the light on in the bathroom. Washing machine. Looks like it's got dry cycles too, which is cool. I don't think I'll even need it while I'm here, but hello. Uh, toilet, heating. Much better shower than the place previously. Just, just even just glancing at this place, it's miles better than what I had in Tirana. Miles better. I don't know what that light did. Oh, that's the entry light. Okay, so here's the lounge room. Nice comfy looking lounge. Just nice decor. I'm just gonna walk around towards the lounge and do a pan about. Come to the bedroom in a second. Dining room. Fairly small TV and it's actually sitting really low, which is interesting, but it, it does the job. Uh, I mean, that's all it's got to do. Kitchen is awesome. I already know that uh, the host, Luli, has already told me that there's even coffee right there waiting for me. Not sure where the light switch is in here. Probably right there. Oh, and a nice window out. Cool. On, awning board, all that sort of stuff. And now out onto the deck. Check out this deck. It doesn't have a view as such. I thought it was sea views from here, but there's not. That doesn't matter. I can see myself sitting out there for a morning coffee and just relaxing. The host actually lives in the apartment right next door, which is very useful to uh, get any support that I might need. Um, everything looks fantastic though. So there's quite a few things to do if um, if you stay in the, the, the top end of town in Duras. Duras is a very long strip of uh, city, but if you stay at the top end of town up uh, north of the port, um, then you've got this beautiful promenade right beside you. Um, you've got restaurants galore, although it's now late September, so probably 20-30% of them are starting to close um, because the tourist season's dropping off. But still, it's uh, it's fantastic. And you're right next to the amphitheatre, the Venetian Tower, the promenade. Um, you, the apartment I'm staying in, literally, you look out the window and up on the hill and you can see uh, all the old bunkers around the, uh, the former King's Palace. Um, of course, the bunkers were built after the royalty was removed, but uh, just from context of where I was. Um, Duras is a great place, so I'm going to show you a few little snippets of the amphitheatre, uh, the, the bunkers, and uh, just other things that are really nice to do in Duras. Construction of the amphitheatre started in the 2nd century AD. 
The amphitheatre was de partially destroyed on two occasions due to earthquakes, once in the 6th century and once in the 10th century. After the end of the Ottoman Empire, the amphitheatre was covered over and uh, the new city walls were built in, uh, in, in adjacent to it and over it. This has resulted in a, a hillside that wasn't actually there when the amphitheatre was built, uh, but uh, was a result of earthquakes and from the filling in um, of the amphitheatre becoming a, a, an issue to the structural integrity of the amphitheatre now. The, um, the hillside has houses built on top of it and they are directly over the amphitheatre itself. You can see one of the tunnels I've filmed here where you walk in and you get to the end of the tunnel where it would have normally opened up onto a road or a plaza or something, but it's actually opening up now into a hill. Um, so there are moves mm -hmm. in place to reclaim some of the houses and structurally reinforce the amphitheatre in those areas. Speaking of those city walls, one of the characteristics I really love about Duras is the atmosphere of where old meets new. You've quite literally got this uh, modern city and embedded throughout it are elements of the old city walls just uh, where they once stood. There's the Venetian Tower, which comprised part of the city walls. There's even a restaurant which is built around an, uh, an element of the old city walls, which is an amazing thing to be able to see and experience. During the, uh, the, the communist regime of uh, Enver Hoxha in uh, uh, Albania, um, the president, uh, Enver, was uh, pretty uh, paranoid about invasion. So all around Albania, there are these bunkers. They're right into the ground. There's another one around behind me. Here's the entry for it. Sadly, these things are all full, like literally full of litter. So that's a bit tragic. They're an amazing historical remnant. Look at the view from this place. If you were the sentry who was posted to this bunker, you had to look at that all the time. Pretty crazy time, but if you had to have a view in crazy times, that'd be the one I'd want. Keep in mind a lot of these trees wouldn't have been as high and definitely a lot of the buildings wouldn't have been there. But yeah. Bunkers in Albania. Okay, so here we are. We're right up the uh, the top end of the Duras uh, beachside promenade. Now this is one of the sets of beaches. I'll do a bit of a walk all the way down. I thought I'd start here because this feature right in front of me is fairly well seen in tourist videos. So I thought you might recognise it. Um, but basically, as you walk down, it, uh, it gets wider and there's quite a few more. Um, um, uh, spaces that people congregate. You might look around now at the amount of people um, and think this is looking moderately busy. This is nothing. You ought to see this place just on dusk. It is packed. It seems to be a real cultural thing here. Um, down this way uh, there is there's another couple of restaurants. I'm not going to walk down there. Um, and there's a little little beach area with some uh, brollies. The, the beach areas at this end of town are pretty ordinary. Um, on the other side of town, which is a good 15-20 minute walk from here, much, much nicer beaches, but not very much in a way of other facilities around them. So anyway, I'm going to turn direct the view off and just get some footage just walking down and around this area.
Okay, so we're about 100 metres, maybe 150 metres further down the promenade from my earlier little director view uh, session. As you can see, it extends for quite a way. I will walk all the way down there and do some video of it, but I wanted to stop here. This is one of the beaches at the top end of town. As you can see, it's, it's, it's nothing to speak of. It's a pretty basic looking uh, place. Um, but when I first came here and the temperatures were up around the 28, 32 sort of mark, there were quite a lot of people sunbathing here. But if I'd gone down to the other end, I reckon there would have been a hell of a lot more. So what's my general impression of Duras? Well, I'll start with the people because I think uh, I think I was a little bit worried when I was in Toronto because everyone had told me how amazing and friendly and wonderful Albanians were. And then I went to Toronto and um, I found it to be a very aloof place. Then I've come to Duras and it is well to park. Now there are the tourist trappy things where you will uh, find that it's not so great. But that's every city in the world. Um, the people here are literally the stereotypical, beautiful, wonderful uh, Albanian people. So I'm so glad I came here. Uh, if I'd come here before I went to Toronto, I might have had a different view of Toronto, but it kind of makes sense to go to Toronto first. If I came back and I had the choice of two cities to stay in, this would be the one I'd stay in. Would I live in Duras? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've still got a fair bit of Albania to see yet, and in this trip I'm not going to be able to see as much as I'd like, but definitely I would live in uh, Duras. I've yet to go to um, Saranda, um, I may like Saranda even more, and the one city that I don't get to go to, that I really want to go to, so I'm going to have to come back, is uh, Valora, because Valora it sounds to me like it's got everything in my personal preference package in there. I won't go into that in any great detail other than to say keep an eye on the channel, I will be back for that. So here's a rundown of what it cost me for three weeks in uh, in Duras and again uh, the Airbnb was well and truly worth it, good value for money. This time it was a well set up Airbnb so I could cook so you will see groceries in the, uh, in the little spreadsheet here. Um, and uh, so you'll, you'll see the breakdown of accommodation, uh, food when I'm eating out, groceries, which is everything from food that I bought to cook in or, or any other things like the occasional uh, anti-inflammatory and all those sorts of things I might have bought because my, my gammy knee is still playing up a bit. Um, the, the highlight of blue is costs that exist regardless of where I'm staying. Um, and uh, all for... All in all, it's a well and truly cost efficient place to stay. I'm in the shoulder season, probably a little bit more expensive during the summer. Probably wouldn't be that much more expensive though. So, well and truly a place that you might want to come to. Anyway, uh, that's it for uh, Duras. Um, I uh, hope you liked this video. Stick around for more videos around Albania. Stick around and check out some of the other videos I've got on the channel for uh, other cities that I've been to and uh, um, drop a comment below if you've got any suggestions on where you think I should go or what you think I should do around uh, my basically permanent travel. Anyway, cheers guys, catch us later.